This is a brief video on how to attach and detach a TP60 from a package car. These are the written steps to hook up a TP60. These are also on a placard on each TP60. There are a few more steps in this video than there are on the placard. If you need time to read them, please push pause. First step is inspection of the vehicle, making sure that all the parts are not rusted, frayed, check your ball, your pin, uh, any moving parts, make sure they are lubricated and in well or good condition. For vehicles requiring a, a separate hitch, you want to insert into the back of the car, making sure it's in there securely. The next step is to insert the pin. Some maneuvering might be required to get this to go through all the way. Once it is through, you want to insert a cotter pin into the other side to make sure that it's secure. Some package cars have a hitch that is permanently attached. You want to make sure that this is attached securely and in good working order. Next step is to line the hitch ball up under the coupler. Once you are there, you want to lower it down. Sometimes you might have to release the brake in order to get it to fall completely. Next step is to install the ball clamp and insert the pin. This is a major pinch point, so make sure that you install this by kicking it with your heel. The next step is to attach the safety chains. This is a backup in case the ball was to come loose. This is a close-up of the attachment points you will find on each side of the hitch. Looking at these steels, the chain should be crossed to make sure that they catch the ball if it was to come loose. They should not drag the ground. If that is the case, if you can cross them more than once, you can. Next step is to insert the light cord, making sure that it is insecurely. You also have to make sure that you have enough slack to make turns, but not too much slack where it drags the ground. The next step is to attach the emergency brake backup cable to the rear bumper. You can attach this clip to any available space on the bumper grate. Make sure you always release the parking brake. Released is in the up position. Next step is to raise the trailer leg completely. After raising the trailer leg, secure the crank arm by folding it in. The final step is to raise the trailer leg into a lock position. Pull out on the spring bolt and it will lock. Always make sure the rear door is closed and the safety chain is attached. Always remember when pulling a trailer to always box your corners and to allow extra time when pulling out. You are pulling an extra 10 feet behind you. Always remember when you're clearing an intersection, you're not only clearing for the package car, but you're clearing for the trailer that you're pulling behind you. Yep. When detaching the trailer, reverse all steps that you did before. When lowering the leg, make sure the spring bolt is in place and then make sure the parking brake is engaged.
This video is a quick reference. If you have any problems, please contact your supervisor or write it up in the DVR and return to the shop.